everyone makes errors all the time. It's it, it's a, it's sort of a part of the human condition, and uh, even uh, uh, someone who tries tries their very best will will still uh, will still make some errors. We've moved from focusing on uh, error to focusing well, more on harm, in part because it's become clear that. Um, that for, for many things that we thought uh, were not, not preventable, we can actually prevent a very large uh, proportion. Uh, the classic example is CLABSI or catheter-related bloodstream infections, where, where uh, one time we thought that was just a complication of, of having a, a central venous catheter in place. But uh, now we know that if you follow a, a, a set of... Uh, uh, procedures or a bundle, you can essentially eliminate those those infections, and and uh, we've had similar findings for for a number of other areas. So, so uh, you know, I think it makes much more sense to focus primarily on on, uh, on on harm. There are many different definitions of harm. The Harvard Medical Practice Study defined harm as harm that resulted in death or disability at discharge or prolonged uh, hospital stay by two or more days. I think that's too too uh, narrow a definition, and uh, and I think it should include uh, anything that that causes a substantial issue uh, uh, for for a patient. So uh, something like uh, an IV infiltrating might not have been considered harm in the Harvard Medical Practice Study, but I think I think it should be should be considered harm, and it should be something that we're trying to strive to prevent.